Hey everyone, and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to explore the new Asana Milestones feature that just came out as of the time of recording this video, it came out last week, and I wanted to share some initial thoughts and some ways that I've been experimenting with the Asana Milestones feature. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please leave me a comment below. If you need one-on-one -on -one support with Asana setup and training, please look in the description below this video for details of my consulting service. And if you are new to Asana, or you want to sign up to Asana Premium, which you will need to use this Milestones feature, then check out details in the description below this video to see how you can get a 10% saving on your annual purchase using my partner link. So getting into this video, here I am, I'm just in a demo account here and I've set up a new project. Now to create a milestone is very simple. You can just come up here to uh, the add task box and clicking this arrow, you can now add a milestone to the project and you can simply type the name of your milestone, nice and simple. Or if you've already planned out your project and you want to convert one of your tasks into a milestone, you can select one of your tasks and then in the task menu, you can mark it as a milestone. Now, there's a number of ways you can think about milestones. One of them would be really just highlighting essentially the big tasks within a project. So here I am, I'm in a product uh, product project plan. It's just like a product launch or something. And I'm really just highlighting the big tasks. So things like round one test, round two test, these are sort of big important tasks. I could convert both of these to milestones just because they're sort of, uh, big tasks that need to be completed, essentially. The other way, if I just revert these back, the other way you can sort of think of milestones or, or set them up in your project is to mark the end of a section. So here, if you look at my sections, I've got a planning phase, production, and launch. And down at the bottom of each section, I've highlighted the action that needs to happen or the milestone that I need to, uh, that I need to reach to sign off that phase. So phase one is all about planning, and we finish that section by getting product manager sign off. And then production, we finish by doing product testing complete. And then the launch might be, you know, when the launch offer ends or something. So that's another way you can think about milestones is really signifying the end of a stage or phase of a project. And a slightly different way I've, uh, way I've been using milestones is for goal tracking. So if I actually flick over, I have this goal project here. This is for company goals. You can see I've got sections here for Q1 and Q2. And basically every single line is a goal, is a milestone. So I've got things like generate $10 million in revenue, uh, double our team and retain employees, drive 80% increase in mobile signups. And just like you can with tasks, you can actually index milestones into multiple projects. So you can see here, we're in the company milestones goal and goals project, but this milestone is also part of the project plan. So in this way, this project that we're in right now is sort of a summary of all of the company's goals, but by linking it to this product launch, we can see how that one particular goal is related to this uh, this project. Uh, and so we can see how the work relates to, you know, obviously the big picture. So here's that, here's that goal up here, that company milestone. So that's, I think, a really cool way of using milestones is really linking your, your big picture company goals to the daily work that you're, you're working on. So that's setting them up in the project. Let me show you a couple of ways that they are now displayed in the project. Firstly, on the progress tab, this is the page where the project manager can update the status of the project. And we now see milestones here. So this is a really nice overview screen for project managers. If you want to look at the status of a project, you can obviously see your status and you know which milestones have com been complete or which ones are still outstanding. The timeline is, is where milestones really begin to shine as well. So here we are, we can see in the planning phase, there's these various tasks that need to be complete. And then we've got the end of that phase or section, I can mark off that milestone when it's complete. And we get a really nice celebration now. I've noticed that actually with the celebrations for milestones, they're a bit more, uh, they're bigger and sort of more cheerful than the regular task completions, which is pretty cool. And so, yeah, they look really cool. You've got these sort of nice lines in the timeline. We can clearly see how different tasks and phases lead towards these big milestones. And then finally, in the calendar as well, they will show up on your calendar. And again, they sort of get highlighted. Uh, the design has just sort of been pulled out a little bit so we can see milestones on key dates in the calendar. So there you have it. Those are some ways that you can consider using milestones either for basically highlighting big tasks in a project, marking the end of a phase or a section of work, or either for tracking, you know, big picture goals and KPIs that the team is working on. Hopefully this video has been useful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.